Hi, welcome back to Pieces to Our Past. I'm Judy. I'm Haley, and this is Bob. In his flying saucer. Bob, stop playing with the <laughs> 1940s depression glass. <laughs> bad Bob. Bad, bad Bob. Uh uh. Anywho. I know we said that we were going to have stuff up on Monday, but yesterday was Haley's birthday and we kind of just took the day off. So my little bug is 16 years old now. Two more years and I could kick her out. Hey! <laughs> um, first thing I want to talk about today is um, every once in a while you find a beautiful open sugar like this piece here and you can't find the creamer and what do you do with it people don't want to buy them um, because what can you do with just a single piece like this well i was fooling around on my desk and i had one of these you know the little battery operated tea light and i dropped it in there and i could not look at how pretty that is can i actually have a cup in my room it's just a pink glass cup and i put some of my smaller seashells in it about halfway and put one of these in it. Yeah, so that's I thought that was kind of neat. This is a um a flashed it's not carnival glass. It is flashed iridescent um probably from the 1940s, 1950s. It's very pretty. Um it is not up on eBay yet. Um I just have had it on my desk cuz I think it's really cute. But it'll probably be going uh, it'll probably be up by the time this video um posts tonight. Um, but just an idea, you know, don't pass up those pretty sugar, uh, lone sugars or creamers if they're clear glass like this because they make beautiful little fairy lights. Um, figured this out just by accident. Uh, so, you know, interior decorating tip of the day. Okay, the first piece we're going to look at today it is a... Bob's Flying Saucer. It's not Bob's Flying Saucer. This is an Anchor Hawking uh, Prismatic Pink Bowl. It is, um, I guess, a console bowl, or it could be used as a um, fruit bowl, whatever. Um, hold it the other Seashell bowl. Seashell bowl, whatever. It's got three gorgeous, really, really pretty feet on it. Um, I do have two of these. Uh, these are left over from the big lot that we bought back in July of last year, um, which we only have about less than 20 pieces left. We had over 100. And um, I have two of these. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't know why they haven't sold yet. Um, I, just, I just think they're so pretty. Um, and they were made in 1941 by Anchor Hawking. Da 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 da! Oh, we're going Vaseline glass already? Yes. Okay. I have a uh, four-piece set up on eBay. This is uh, Federal Glass Company. This is the Madrid pattern. And this pattern was made by them uh, 1932 to 1939. It is Vaseline glass. <laughs> Thank you. It is Vaseline glass. And you know how Haley is with her Vaseline glass. Ta-da! Um, I have a four-piece set of this. I have three of the sherbet cups. Um, they're in perfect condition. Uh, this is what kills me about this depression glass is that it's from the 1930s and this stuff has lasted so long. Okay, Haley, I think we get it. Mm -hmm. Well, what about the bowl? Oh, yes. So, I, like I said, I have a four-piece set. I have, you know, the bowl is harder because it's bigger. Um, I have one of these bowls and I have three of the sherbet cups. Um, they are up on eBay. Um, oh, and oh, her nail polish glows. Oh boy, and what? it has it's sparkles. Cold. Yeah, yeah. So um, now sh show them the bowl in the light now, because I love this Madrid pattern. It's so intricate. And so pretty. I can just imagine a whole table set with place settings of this this that would glass. Be amazing. I know, wouldn't it be? Absolutely Neon green gorgeous. That glows. It would just be phenomenal. But 
So we have that set up on, or it's not actually a set, it's a lot. Okay, what's next? This is my fish dish. <laughs> uh, this past weekend, Hubby and I went to all the open thrift stores in our area instead of going to the flea market because it was threatening to rain, so we didn't want to get all wet. Um, this is a terracotta fish dish. Um, it is hand painted, was made in Mexico. Oh, I can hold it still. Um, it has a bunny rabbit and two birds on it and lots and lots of flowers and lots of pretty colors. It has two holes in the top so I assume that, um, a ribbon or a piece of rope would go through there to hang it on the wall. And uh, it, the tag on the back said Walt Disney World on it oh, it before did. I cleaned it and then really? it fell off. Yeah. That was probably purchased at Walt Disney World in the um, Mexican Pavilion. Oh, yeah, in that, that makes beautiful, sense. In that beautiful, I love that, that uh, yeah, gift that shop. Sense. It's gorgeous. So um, it's really pretty. Um, it's in excellent condition. Uh, no chips, no cracks, nothing. Um, I think we paid $1.99 for it. Oh, it has this little stick on here, too. Yeah, that's the one that says Made in Mexico. Anyway, okay, my heart can, she just almost knocked something off the table. No, it would have fallen that way. Okay. I have this beautiful green glass bowl, vase, probably a rose bowl. Um, this was also in the lot of depression glass that we got um, back last summer. I have not been able to figure out who made this, um, but it is stunning. Look at that. Um, this has been up on eBay since July and it has not sold. Um, it's a beautiful piece. It's big. It's, it's got presents. It would look really, really pretty in the middle of a table with some roses in it. Some white, ro white <laughs> roses or maybe some red roses for Christmas. Or shells. Or shells. Anyway. <laughs> um, so that is in our eBay store. These we, Haley and I dropped by Goodwill today, which was a waste of time because they didn't have anything. Hey, they had this. Well, we got, helpful. we got a big candle today by Yankee Candle Company. It's, it wasn't even used. No, it was brand new for what, $2.99? Yeah, the top of the wax had melted a little bit. So. That was it. Um, I love that when you can go in and, I mean, those candles sell for 15 to $20 yes. new. Actually, all my candles I have have been thrifted. I love candles and kind of collect them. So. <laughs> um, so our Goodwill really didn't have anything today. A lot of the stuff on the shelf was cracked or chipped or broken. We all know how that goes. But I did find, where's the other one? Well, I only have two hands. We'll put two in one hand. There you go. Adjust. I don't want to drop it. I found this set of three witches. Um, they are absolutely they cute are as so can be. Cute. They are cute as can be. There was a fourth one, but she was missing the curly cue in her hat. Um, I noticed one of them does have a little bit of a chip on her face, I want to say, or I can't remember where it is. But you I had to really look for it to find it. I do didn't, you remember what we're trying to do? No. I, I found it after we got them home, but you can you can hardly see it. I know there was one because that's metal. Yeah, there's, there's some paint missing off the metal arms, but um, I'm going to pop these up on eBay probably tonight. Yeah. Um, oh, they have this one. I don't know if the others do, but this one has a little bat engraved on it. Aw. Little bats engraved all over. And oh, yeah. This one has moons and stars, and that one has polka dots. That's cool. They're made out of resin um, with wire arms. And the missing paint can be easily fixed. Yeah. With a Sharpie or paint. So. I know it's not Halloween time, but when I saw these ladies, I just had to pick them up. I think they're so cute. The one is holding a hat. The one is holding a cauldron. And the other one, what does she have, a basket? Like a basket or bottom half of a pumpkin with stuff in it. Oh, yes, it's a pumpkin and it's got stuff in it. Anyway, um, so these are going to be going up on eBay. I'll probably put them up for $10 for the set of three. 
Um, oh, how is that? Those? <laughs> and they're very light, so it'll be first class shipping. Um, our first class shipping runs about six seventy five. And they're very cute. And they are really cute. They will look adorable in somebody's house at Halloween. Oh, you stop. <laughs> uh, this was uh, something that my husband picked up in uh, one of the thrift stores in town. It is a three-piece... Um, who is it? Lefton? If that's what that says, yes. Lefton? Yes. Okay. It's a three-piece Lefton uh, vanity set. It comes with the tray, the powder, uh, the powder dish with the lid, and this is a, um, a perfume jar with the stopper. Now, this probably came with two perfume stopper, uh, perfume bottles when it was new. Um, the the powder jar would go in the middle of the two perfume bottles on either side, but this is all that's here. The paint, um, it's uh, painted and then it has moriage paint, which is a raised paint on top of it. Um, it is in perfect condition. Um, it really is very, very pretty. The tray is my favorite. I yes. love the tray. The tray is absolutely gorgeous. It's got most of its gold trim around the edges. It's hardly missing anything. Um, and the flowers are just so dainty and pretty. I like them. Uh, so that is up on eBay. I don't remember what I've got it up there for, but I think my husband paid $8 for the set. And they, all the pieces still have their left in tags. And he's trying to get on. I know, she wants, she wants to get up on her chair. Hi, Remy. <laughs> She says hello. <laughs> anyway, next, this piece we've had for quite a while, Penny. and I I do believe we believe we had this in a video. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Don't remember? No, I don't. Cause it's heavy. I we'll leave the lid back. Leave the lid on it for a minute. Want to. Okay, this is what is it marked on the back? Made in USA and then a fifty four, I think. Okay, it's California pottery. Uh, California pottery made in the USA. Um, it is a cigarette box in the center. No, other way. Cigarette box in the center with two ashtrays on either side. It is a gorgeous... Oh, puppy bloopers. It is a gorgeous um, teal color uh, with um, gold gold paint on it. And it, I, at first I thought the paint was worn off, but it's supposed to look like that. Yeah, for the longest time I thought it was just chipped away. Yeah, and it's not. And, and I would like feel it, like, and it didn't feel chipped, and it's just... It's just the way it is. It's the way they painted it. But that is a gorgeous piece. It is mid, obviously mid-century modern from the 50s or early 60s. The lid's upside down. Yes, I know. Okay. I believe this is a McCoy coffee pot. Coffee pot. <laughs> it's not a coffee pot, people. Yes. Uh, is it McCoy? Yes. And it's heavy. It's a McCoy cookie jar. And it has... <laughs> really? Editing. She's trying to get up on that red chair. Yeah. Should I go? No, no. Look at her. Sorry. Anyway, uh, this is a... <laughs> Cute puppy dogs. <laughs> <laughs> she loves that chow because it's in the kitchen. Okay, back to, back to the cookie jar. This is a McCoy cookie jar. Um, it has um, a transfer, where, a transfer on it of uh, pineapple and strawberries. It is massively heavy. Haley's arms are probably hurting. Yes. The outside is absolutely pristine. There are no cracks, chips. Oh, that's right. There is a chip on the... Um, crack. A crack. A crack on the handle. Um, but it does not go all the way through. It's not too big. No. It's, it's a surface crack. Yeah. And the inside of the rim has a lot of chips on it. But that's kind of to be expected. Yeah. From use, 
I'm sure it was very, very well loved and well used. But it is a really, really magnificent piece. I love it. I could see it also being used as a, um, a vase. I could see flowers in that easy. Like, oh my gosh, on a, um, around the around Thanksgiving yes. with orange flower. Oh yeah, yes. that would be really orange pretty. And, uh, yellow yeah. flowers. Red and yellow. And, yeah. <laughs> really? Okay, come on. <laughs> Usually the outside. Next. This we also picked up in one of the thrift stores. This is a little um, bull mini creamer. Um, he is marked Made in Japan on the bottom. Um, I've seen quite a few of these on eBay in different colors. They came in different colors. Um, but he is no chips, no cracks. Um, he does have some crazing, um, but he is so cute. Um, he is up on eBay, I believe, for $9.50. Ranger Van. <laughs> Don't drop that. This is, <laughs> this is a Maud and Bob St. Clair um, art glass paperweight. It is a teapot shape with flowers inside. This is a gorgeous piece. This is a gorgeous piece. Um, what color are the flowers on the other side? Are they white, yellow, and blue? And then on the other side are pink, uh, uh, light or blue, and, and white. Um, it's That's more probably blue. Yeah, it's pretty. Um, it is marked on the bottom 1980, which does make it vintage. Da 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 da. Uh, it does make it vintage. Um, it is in perfect condition. No chips, no cracks, nothing. Um, Steven picked this up at a charity shop. Um, I, yeah, I think we paid maybe four dollars for it. So, very pretty piece. This piece I love. Um, there are a few of these on eBay. It is a cobalt blue glass um, vase, probably best used for roses or shells or. You wouldn't even see the shells in there. Yes, you would. Um, the thing that I love about if it, besides the little ruffle, is all the bubbles yes. in the glass. It is so pretty. I have really bad pictures of this up <laughs> on eBay because I, I didn't want to buy a photo box, and then I finally decided to buy one, and now I'm redoing all of the glass pictures to get better pictures of them. Um, but this is a really, really pretty... Hold it closer so maybe they can, will the bubbles show up? Do a they, little bit. They show up? Um, there's a few of these up on eBay. It's older. It's probably. It looks a lot lighter on camera than it actually is. It does look lighter? Yeah. Yeah, it is a cobalt blue. The camera usually does that though. It's a true cobalt blue. And uh, again, it's in perfect condition. Um, we got this with the depression glass that we got back in July. And uh, well, again, one of those pieces I can't believe it hasn't sold. I just don't understand it. I guess that's it? Yeah. Are you kidding? No. Oh, wow. Even with all the interruptions, it went well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope everybody is doing good. Um, I know our state is starting to come out of starting to come out of quarantine. We are in Florida. <laughs> and uh, we're up to 50% uh, capacity in all of our restaurants. My husband and I went out to eat in a restaurant for the first time since this whole thing started back in March um, on Saturday without the kids. Oh, it was so nice. It was so nice. We went to Olive Garden. Yes, I um, know. <laughs> I brought you back Zeppelin. Yes, and they were very good, even though I ate them cold. <laughs> and uh, it was nice to get out. It's nice to start getting back to a little bit of normal. Um, but stay safe, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait. <laughs> you I forgot. forgot. Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Haley's favorite new part. Um, down in the comments, uh, down in the description, we have our link to our eBay page, and we also have a link to our Facebook group. Um, 
Also, uh, please subscribe. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers. Come on, we can do it. We're up to 79. So happy. Wait, we got another one? Yeah, we have a new subscriber. Oh, yay. Yay. Hello, um, new subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, okay, subscribe. Like the video, please. Uh, comment if you'd like. If you uh, can help us out with the identification of that green ruffle bowl, that would be really cool. Um, and hit that bell for notifications. Insert bell here. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for seeing our for watching our our newest vid video and we'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye.